So, back to the three challenges. So the first challenge is to find an idea uh, and stick to it. I'm going to talk about the, the journey that we, we went through. We created our own product, our own platform, to try and find this idea. And some of that was a success uh, 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 doing that. And we didn't realize that success it was until much later. And some of that, uh, that trials and tribulations of finding an idea was, was not a success and was, was a challenge. But you have to learn from those things as well, learn from failure. The next challenge um, is to commercialize, commercialize a product. And that's, that's very difficult. I mean, you get ideas popping around all the time. Oh, ooh, another idea, another opportunity. Oh, I can make some money out here. I can get a growth market here. And it's, it's that sticking to something, but also sticking through to where you've got a commercial product, whether you're taking huge numbers for advertising revenues and, and getting it out there, or you're monetizing a product immediately, is getting a commercial product out and actually getting uh, some m essential monetary uh, value from it. And then the third, again, the third challenge is to product market fit, finding the must-have um, for um, the customers to keep coming back to really value that the service that you're providing. So, what is it we do, you're probably wondering. We're a software company. And you know how really annoying it is when you go onto a website and you want to buy something, or you're using a web application and the search doesn't work, it breaks, or you can't log in? Or even worse, you go onto an e-commerce site and you look through your products, you find what you want to buy, and then you get through the checkout and it breaks. Doesn't work. Fails. Ah! Really annoying. So what you often do is you close it, and then you go to another site. And that's a lost sale. That's a lost opportunity for these companies. So what we do is we act just like you. We act like a customer. We constantly test that the search box is working, that the checkout is working, that the pages are working, that the content's there. And if there's an error, a failure, or a slowdown, we tell the provider straight away that there's a problem so they can fix it because it costs them money. And reputation, bad reputation, spreads very, very quickly on the internet. There was a report uh, uh, a couple of years ago that said that 84% of people will tell other people about a bad experience on the web. You think about it, it's logical, isn't it? You had a bad experience on the web, Twitter's open, Facebook's open. Oh, you know, there's bad experience. Yeah, and that spreads very quickly. So it's in, unlike any other time in history, the ability to share a bad experience or even a good experience now with social media. And social media, of course, is changing the way we behave. Facebook, you're, I'm sure you're all on Facebook. Over half a billion users. It's, it's amazing. Um, I mean, I, I love technology industries. You're probably, probably beginning to tell. So this is our product, and we measure from all over the world, from locations, to see what the experience is like from Asia, um, from America, um, from across Europe, to make sure that uh, customers are satisfied um, and they're, they're having a good experience. So that's basically what we do. These are some of our customers. Uh, recent wins for us include Wiggle. Uh, it's an on the UK's biggest online bike store. Uh, they sell products all over the world, uh, translated into 90 countries. Um, won all sorts of awards in, in the UK for, for Exporter of the Year. Beat ASOS in, in International Cross-Border Exporter of the Year. Really progressive com company. They looked at all of our competitors and selected us, a big competitors in the market. And uh, we've done very well um, to, to, to win them. A really good customer. And what was particularly, re uh, was particularly good is that they're very customer focused, uh, their service is very good, like Amazon, and they said our customer service was very, very good as well. Was, was, they were delighted with the service. So to get that sort of feedback is, is really good after being through this whole journey I've been talking about. Uh, another recent win is also Jigsaw, the women's fashion retailer as well. They're, they're one of our customers. Uh, we've got a whole heap of other customers, both here and, um, and the ones I'm not showing. Now, all of this has helped uh, cre create uh, a buzz around us, uh, a um, showcase around us. So last year, we were the uh, Nottingham Post uh, new business, new enterprise of the year. And we built, beat all sorts of other businesses, really good businesses, to win this, this award, which was awesome. Um, we've been launched for about a year and a quarter uh, in total. And when we won this award, we, we've been uh, released maybe eight months, we were already getting good traction uh, with, with what we're doing. So uh, customers like um, uh, the gam mobile gambling application for um, 
William Hill and Ladbrokes. So you're on, the, you know, you're on the terrace or you're on the race course and you can bet and you use this gambling platform, mobile gambling platform. Well, we monitor that. We test it, just as I was explained, testing the user experience, make sure it's working and it's not slow. Um, another example is a Classroom Monitor. Um, they've got a, a web application, so it's, it's like software, but now you use it on the, on, on the web. You log in and you can do things with it, you know, like Salesforce is a, is a web application. You know, Salesforce.com, if you come across that, or Google Docs. And there's a proliferation of new applications uh, coming now. And with uh, Classroom Monitor, it's an assessment for school kids. They've got, I think, about 2,000 uh, schools uh, that they provide this service for. And what we do is we pretend to be a teacher. So we go through to the assessment page for the kids, make sure all of that works, to make sure it's not slow, to make sure that the users are getting a good experience of using this product. So we own you know, Golf Shaker, uh, the, the UK's uh, biggest uh, golfing community. Again, we're doing a whole set of service for those. And then uh, towards the end of last year, we were uh, finalists uh, for the British Computer Society, which is now called the Chartered Institute of IT. Um, the inno business innovation of the year with our product from, from what, are we be, what we've been doing, uh, which was fantastic uh, because we were up against some really big companies, big American, big U UK companies, companies like Citrix, uh, UK companies like Autonomy, um, AppSense Wise, these big companies. So we did very well to, to get that far considering we were so new with our product. But I'll explain, I'll now explain how we got to this point um, through these three challenges that we've been through.